Hello there, God bless you. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. It's always an honor to bring you prophetic messages from the Lord. God bless all our first timers. Thank you so much. If this is the first time you are um, clicking on my video, thank you so much and a special welcome to you. Please check to see if you're already subscribed to this channel. If not, kindly go ahead and touch the subscribe button and do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that whenever there is a release of a prophetic word, you are going to get the notification. Hallelujah. Glory to God. They attacked you because they were scared of you. They attacked you because they were scared of you. I I have heard this um this this um sentence uh, quite a while, and people use it for defense. They say the best means of defense is attack. The best way you want to defend yourself is to attack. So you first launch the attack so that you are ready. You don't want to uh, you don't want to be taken on away. So you launch the attack before you are attacked. And that is what so many people do. Someone looks at you and is frightened. They look at you and they are scared for one reason or the other. And they decide to launch an attack on you. And now you, on the other hand, you might be thinking they are attacking you because they think you are inferior. You might be thinking they are attacking you because um, they think you are less. But no, the reason they are attacking you is because they are scared of you. They are scared of what you might do if they just let you be. They are scared of what you might become if they let you be. So the very reason why they are attacking you is because they are scared. You are so... Um, you are so uh, powerful, you are so, um, what's this word? And it makes them shiver, it makes them scared. They want to destabilize you, they want to demoralize you, they want to make sure you do not amount to whatsoever you were um, building towards. The same thing happened in the book of Exodus. The Bible tells us about how, you know, we all know the story, how, um, how, um, Joseph was in Egypt and there was a famine um, all over the territory. And so the brothers of, of Joseph, they came to look for food in Egypt and they reunited with Joseph and later brought their parents, uh, their parents to, to, to Egypt. And while Joseph was still prime minister, they gave them a city in Egypt called Goshen. So while the Israelites were at Goshen, they grew so strong, they so prospered, and it made the Pharaoh scared, insecure, frightened. The Bible says they arose another Pharaoh who did not know what Joseph had done for Egypt. And he saw that um, the Israelites were growing really powerfully. They were prospering. I mean, they were doing so great at Goshen. Exodus chapter 1 from verse 10 Let's read from verse 10 and 11. It says, now, this is um, the Pharaoh when he noticed that the Israelites were prospering. So he said, come, let us deal shortly with them so that they will not multiply and in the event of war, join our enemies and fight against us and escape from the land. So they set up taskmasters over them to oppress them with hard labor. And the sons of Israel built pythons and ramses as storage cities for Pharaoh. So the reason why Pharaoh did this is because he saw how, far, how much they were growing, how fast they were growing and how prosperous. And they got scared. What? If they eventually um, join an enemy to attack them. So because of that, now because the Egypt the Israelites did not know what happened, they might be thinking um, the Egyptians were tasking them so hard because they were inferior. They were tasking them so hard because they were nobodies. But no, they were scared. What the Pharaoh was doing was trying to destabilize them, try to demoralize them, try to stop them from being productive in themselves. All right. He was trying to stop them from being productive in themselves. Whenever you experience an, an attack on your person, you experience an attack 
it's wise to sit back and think why why they attack what do they stand to gain if i if i um, am able to accomplish this what do they stand to gain if i'm able to do this most of the time the attacks come as a self-defense to your oppressors they are scared of you they are not attacking you because you are inferior they are attacking you because they are scared if you have this knowledge you're going to deal with those attacks from a point of a, a victor from a point of a conqueror you're not going to shake and you're not going to shiver and and and, and 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 get it to yourself thinking that you are minority thinking you are less no you are going to face the battle as a victor because that is who they see you to be they are scared they just can't put fear in front but truly, truly, they are scared of you. I pray that God will empower you to destabilize every adversary that is coming to attack you in the mighty name of Jesus. Be it in human form, be it in whatever form they are coming to destabilize you. They are coming to attack you, to neutralize you. I pray that God will empower you to be able to fight and defeat these forces. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. Did you receive this word with gladness? May the Lord bless you and keep you, cause his face to shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in Jesus' mighty name. I love you so much and I will see you in our next video as God gives me grace. Until then, have an amazing day. Shalom.